Hi, I'm Justin Nazim. I'm the director and maker of Skiing in Iran, documentary on YouTube.com. And I, as of this moment, the video is about to reach 60,000 views, so I figured that it would be very good for me to make a video response to it. I am extremely shocked and so glad of its success. I never thought that it would possibly do so well. I remember making it about when I was finishing editing about May 2005 and I was stressing and I had exams and I was just wondering like whether there was any point to it, whether anyone would actually watch it. So I am more than glad when it suddenly turned out that people were interested and people were watching my videos. It is so rewarding for an artist of any kind to know that people are watching and viewing his things. So um, I am very appreciative of every single comment that's made on it, whether it's good or whether it's bad. To just know that someone is watching your stuff and criti criticizing it is very appreciated. Uh, I'm sorry I can't reply to all the comments these days. I used to. I used to reply like personally emails to every single one, but um, I'm very busy now in college and I don't really have time to do that. But I very much appreciate every single one. And um, it kind of shocks me uh, why this video is so popular. I, I guess it's an important interest. I mean, I guess it's, it's not bad. It's not a bad documentary. Um, and I think it really is a reflection of the people's interest in the world of Iran. Um, it's, it's, I find it very strange, like every few days I check up on how many views it is and it's suddenly within the last week, and this is um, the middle of January right now, within the last week there's been an extra 10,000 views. Uh, I, I don't really understand, I guess there's a sudden interest in Iran right now and I'm glad that people are turning to such things as YouTube to find out about these things. And that was really what um, I wanted to do when I made this movie. I just wanted people to I had a great experience and I knew when I was going to Iran that it would be worth telling other people and showing other people what it was like. And so my primary interest in making this was showing the truth. And I mean, there's levels of that and you can philosophize on what the truth is, but I just wanted to show what I saw and what I felt and let other people make decisions on what that is. When I made this video, there was very little forward thought. There was no agenda. I had no idea what to expect. I could have... It's hard thinking about this now because it was over a year ago when I left, when I went there. But it was... Um, I, I didn't know whether I was expecting uh, dangerous coups or terrorists or, or whether I would be living in a luxury palace. I had nothing to find out because there really is not much in the news about Iran, about these sort of places that very few people go. And so I wanted to make this video as an alternative so people could make up their own decisions about it. And it seems that people are reading a lot into this movie, much more than I put it than I thought about. Um, I am showing a very small perspective on it. It's not a complete um, analysis in the situation. There are no, uh, it, there are no solutions to the many problems in Iran, which there are problems. It's a beautiful place, but it's far from perfect. I just wanted to get the message out that for people to respect other people around the world. Iranian people, Middle Eastern people, anyone around the world, they are just people. I'm very glad that the expats, uh, Iranians around the world are appreciating this video. I find it very touching. A lot of the comments when people are saying that I've shown them images of their homeland, of places they knew as children or places their parents knew, uh, it, 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 it really, I uh, very much appreciate it when I get those sort of messages. Um, and I do think it's a beautiful place, and I do hope that it can solve its problems, and that you too can someday return to your homeland of Iran. So what now? Iran is very important in the news, there's some volatile situations, there's some terrible things going on, and it can very easily get worse. I don't have all the solutions. All I know is that whatever you can do, try and stop any war in Iran. That is, well, that is never, ever the solution. And especially for people like these. Right? All I tried to show in this video is that they are people just like you and me, and they do not deserve a war. Other than that, I have no idea. I'm in college right now. Perhaps I'm going to better understand the world in a few years, and I'll understand how
possibly to improve the situation. The government of Iran is not perfect. I understand that. And I very much appreciate those who comment on that. Um, it is important to remember that while this is a beautiful country, and while there are some amazing places in it, there are also some horrible atrocities going on. So thanks again for everybody that watched Skiing in Iran, and everyone that told someone else to watch it. Please do. Please tell all your friends who might have any sort of interest in Iran. I love it when people watch my stuff. Uh, if anybody would like to give any more comments, please feel free to post it on the YouTube site or email me personally. Uh, information's on my YouTube or my Facebook. Uh, or if anyone would like to order a DVD of it or something, I'd be more than happy if you wanted to cover the postal charges. As of right now, I'm just going to keep on snowboarding and make some more movies when I can. Uh, I'm thinking about going to Kashmir next Christmas for a sort of sequel. That might be pretty cool. So that's it. Thanks for watching.